Hi church, welcome to day 10 of the month of prayer and fasting. Um, you are a third of the way through, so give yourself a round of applause. Um, this is super exciting. Um, there are 21 days left and so there is heaps of time still to see breakthroughs, to see miracles, to see answers to prayer. I want to encourage you, let's keep going. There is real momentum. Um, I just want to take a few moments to talk to you about praying for healing because today our focus is on that. And so today we get to specifically pray for people who need a breakthrough and who need a healing. We know that our God is able to heal and he is a healing God. I am testimony to that and many others are testimony to that and can share of what God can do and is doing. Um, I just want to share a verse from 1 Samuel 17, 45. It's a story of David and Goliath. Um, and you may wonder why I'm sharing that verse, but uh, I'm just going to share it and then explain. So it says, David said to the Philistine, you come against me with a sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel. And uh, I love this verse. I love this verse because in the midst of a giant shouting daily taunts at God's people, and they were afraid, they were very afraid, and they were retreating. Nobody wanted to go out to fight him because he was intimidating, he was scary, um, and they were overwhelmed. And in the midst of that, David, a little shepherd boy steps forward and he says, what? You come against me with a sword and a spear and a javelin. Well, I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. And David found courage in the name of the Lord. He didn't find courage in his own name and in his own strength. He, he took courage because he knew he went in the name of the Lord. And as we come against sickness today, we're not coming in our own strength. There is no power in the name of Michelle Steele. There is no power in your name, but there is power, all power in the name of Jesus. And so today we are coming against sickness. We're coming against the, the, the sometimes sickness. It seems like a giant um, it can shout daily taunts at us. It can say, you're always going to have this. You're never going to get better. You know, you may have a diagnosis which which says, um, you're not going to make it. Like, you're not going to be here much longer. And that can be such a fearful voice. It can bring so much fear. And in the midst of that, in the midst of walking through sickness, we want to be able to say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. My cup overflows. And uh, I want us today, church, to really take heart, to really um have courage to have courage whatever you are facing personally whatever maybe a family member is facing we are not coming in our own strength we are coming in the name of the lord god almighty and so today i want us to speak to sickness from that place from that place of courage from that place of knowing he is the lord god almighty the God of the angel armies. And we're going to speak to the mountain of sickness. And we're going to say today, sickness, go in the name of Jesus. Headaches, go in the name of Jesus. The mountain has to move in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to pray for us, church. And we are expectant today that some mountains are going to move, that some sicknesses today will be healed because of the all-powerful name of Jesus. Let's pray. 
Lord, I want to thank you that all power is in your name. And today we take hold of your name and we speak to sicknesses today and we say, go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that there is power in your name. Holy Spirit, today, would you fill us with a fresh confidence in the name of Jesus. I pray for just holy boldness and courage today to come upon us, that we would pray with faith and confidence. And in Jesus' almighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, church, it is going to be a brilliant day and I really want to encourage you, please do email in your testimonies to prayer at audaciouschurch.com because we would love to hear them and we want others to be encouraged as they hear the testimonies of what God's doing. Uh, have an amazing day. Bye.